Okay, so what we're going to do today is imagine that all of our background area is filled in. And what I thought I would do first is color in my cave person, because that will be the um, second to last thing we're going to be coloring in. So it's the cave person and then the animal. So I figured since the cave person doesn't have that much detail on it, I'm going to make it black, kind of lightly pressed with the crayons. Okay, I'm not going to press too hard. And then I'll go over it harder with maybe brown marker or brown crayon if you don't have markers. Okay, and then that will make an earthy look to my cave person. And remember, you're going to be coloring in two cave people at least. Okay, the same character repeated twice. And then I'm going to save all my detailed coloring for my animal because I want to make the animal really stand out. That's going to be kind of the focal point of this picture. So over here while I'm doing her, I'm going to fill this in again with the black crayon lightly. And then there's her crazy hair because she's going nuts because she still wants that tiger meat and then details like this need to stand out the light by the fire this should be lit up around here and then maybe i'll blend some orange and red so the inside of the cave looks like it's lit up Looking pretty good, right? Here's my yellow here with the markers. And then I would do the outside red. All right, now with the tiger, I am going to say to myself, okay, my tiger's not just going to be brown or it's not just going to be orange. The eyes are going to be a different color. The snout is going to be a different color. No matter how many times I go over this project every year, there's always going to be somebody who's going to give me a tiger or an animal picture where the animal is just filled in with one color and there's no detail. So please don't do that. Um, I'm going to do gray nails. Since I don't have gray in my box, I could do black lightly and then white hard on top like this and i'm going to do crayons and markers when i do the skin so maybe when i do this skin i will press hard along the edge with my orange and then i will go in with a lighter color like maybe a yellow so there's this right here and my spots i'm going to do or my stripes i'm going to do with um brown marker Okay, so see how I'm getting all around the edge here? And here's my orange really lightly. Okay, now watch what I do with the crayon. Here's my yellow. I'm going to put the yellow on top. Nice and neat. I'm going to press hard. See how the tiger really starts to stand out? And I can see all the different parts of the face. I'm going to be careful around where the uh, black snout is because I don't want it to blend in with the black because then it'll look like a dirty green. So look at that. That's all filled in. Oh, I forgot his tail. And now the final thing I'm going to do is take my brown marker and do his stripes. So the stripes are really going to stand out. Okay. And that is what you're going to start doing today 
with your animals. So the more details, the better. Have fun.